We're now going to talk about how the camera actually works, and I think this is a really important lesson to learn and really the, the, the starting point for the rest of this course. So this is a film camera, and I think it's important to start with film because that's where photography all started. And if you look at this camera, so you have the lens, um, you have a way of controlling the amount of light entering, you have two settings up here, one for shutter, one for your ISO, and we'll get into all this stuff later. Um, and then you have you know, the photo button, the one that you use to take the picture. The important thing to understand with the film camera is that back here, there's no electronics. Uh, you actually have a piece of film going across here, and the amount of light you allow to enter through your lens using your shutter speed, using your f-stop, you control how much hits the film and the film itself is actually a light sensitive source and this is what really makes film so interesting is that those pieces of film are actually a bunch of crystals and those crystals are sensitive to light they're actually they react when they are exposed to light and whatever comes in is burned onto them and then saved for later and you have to go through a whole chemical process to keep that exposed image on your film and that's ultimately what you would create a negative out of and what you would go and print a photo from. It's a very different world than digital photography but it's a great way to understand how photography works. You have some apparatus that controls the amount of light entering and then you have a plane or a, a, a piece of film that reacts to that light and stores the image. Now digital photography is very similar to film in the sense that you have a lens, you have a shutter, these things are controlling the amount of light coming in. And you also have an ISO rating, but instead of having a piece of film back here, you have a digital sensor. And that digital sensor reads how much light is coming in. Now it's still reacting to light, it's just instead of a physical chemical process, you have a computer processing that image and you can see in the last few years how far that technology has come because you're able to capture pretty stunning images through digital photography and a lot of traditionalists will say that film will always be superior to digital just because of the quality and the, the real chemical process that film goes through is consider just higher quality and I think digital has come a long way and most people can't even tell the difference but a lot of the great photographers were were real artists because they weren't just using digital where you can change so much after the fact they were shooting film and it, it was a whole process going into the dark room and exposing your film and the possibility that if you screwed up along the way you lost everything. You lost all of your images. And sure, that's possible. Maybe you drop your, your memory card or, you know, ultimately water gets on your camera. But it, it's a lot more difficult nowadays, I think, than, than the guys who were trucking around with, you know, big old film cameras. The other big difference is that while film cameras had different amounts of crystals in the film, and that would determine an ISO rating, we'll, we'll talk about that later, you have a digital sensor, which is ultimately reading millions of pixels. It, it's you know ones and zeros that are creating the image you're looking at. And how that chip or how that sensor reads light will make a huge difference in your photography. And this is constantly changing. This is something that is really exciting you know, when talking about what some of the full frame sensors are able to do nowadays. Um, but a lot of people will still say film you're able to do a lot more and there's, there's a, just a different quality to film photography over digital. But now that we've talked about the basics, let's dive in a little bit deeper. 